YouTube, it's me Samantha. I am jumping back on to do my April favorite, so let's get it started. This this month I've been really obsessed with highlights. Spring's coming in, spring season is right now, so I've just been into that glow, that dewy look. I really like it, even though I love a matte finish. So the first thing that I've been really loving for highlight was actually one of my first videos, and that's the Giella I Am Glam um, highlight powder. And here it is. It's a beautiful gold shimmer, and Beat Face Honey, if you follow her on YouTube, she's amazing. She has, she knows a website that sells this for, I believe, $5 cheaper than the Giella website. And this is what the package looks like. I absolutely love it, and I don't think anyone could ever run out of that product, even if they have it in their professional kit. And it's this first one. My next highlight is a, a MAC pigment, and it's in vanilla. And this is actually a sample that I was given, and I really love it. It's a nice white golden color, and it's absolutely beautiful. And I have that swatched as well. I tried recording this video, and my battery died. So right there is the vanilla pigment, and it's perfect for down the nose and the high points of the cheekbones. My third highlight, and you'll probably see reflection, is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick and Nectar. So that's the Shimmer Brick and Nectar. This is what it looks like. I was actually, I bought this with a gift card I got from my work. So there it is. It's absolutely beautiful. It gives you a lot of the golden, rose gold kind of dual chrome colors since there's five different options um, of colors to blend all together. And you get a really pretty peachy, coral, golden type of color. Definitely could even be used as a blush, especially on someone fair or um, a highlight. I, I have it buffed in over my blush right now. So I just love that. So those are the highlights I've been loving. Um, for eyes, I or let's do lips. For lips, I've been loving my Boldly Bear MAC pencil, and it just came out with the Quite Cute collection, and one of my subbies said it was permanent. I hope so, because I love it to death. It's amazing. It's like a nude, but it has a little bit of a warm, peachy undertone, and it's that darker swatch right there. That's Boldly Bear. And then, also, I've been loving my NARS Velvet Matte Pencil in Sex Machine. And it's a big fat pencil. I love it. And that is it right there underneath it. So that's Sex Machine. And I have those two on today. I have the Velvet Matte Pencil on my whole lip and on the outer edge is Boldly Bare. I've also been loving to blend those out is the MAC Cream Sheen Glass in Partial to Pink, which I believe is a permanent color. And it came out with the Quite Cute Collection as a re-promote. And I love that. And that is right there. And it's on top of Max Flesh Pot, which I've been loving, and I'm about to show you that right now. Max Flesh Pot is a satin finish, and it is a very nude color, but with Boldly Bare um, as a lip liner, it gives you a really nice peach lip. So if you like a pale peach lip, I recommend Flesh Pot and Boldly Bare together. So those are all my lip loves for the month. I absolutely, I've been into pinks and peaches a lot. Not ready for the bright orange, but I'm veering on peaches, so... Then for eyes, I've been reaching for my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and Painterly is just a nice neutral, kind of cool toned skin tone color, and I absolutely love it, and I've just been reaching for it more and more. I have it on my lids today, I don't even have eyeshadow on it on top of my lids, and it's right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's pretty neutral. And then as far as eyes, I have been really loving my Inglot palettes. Um, these are the Freedom System palettes, and this is five. I love the packaging. Really happy with the price point and the actual pigmentation. These eyeshadows are pretty dang amazing. Um, just to show you, let's swatch the two darkest. Look at that pigmentation. That was one swipe. You saw me do it, and I already have them swatched pretty poorly right there. They're amazing, beautiful colors. Um, I really am a big fan of their shine and their matte finishes. Um, their double sparkle is beautiful, but as far as the consistency with the sparkle staying, you might need to find a more sticky base for the sparkle to stay. It still shows, but not like it does when you first swatch it. And here is my Inglot 10 palette that I've been loving, and it's pretty amazing. Um, I've been obsessed with these two colors right here. Um, they're both, I think, shines or pearl finishes. I'll have to find out and let you guys know. But um, I absolutely love them. They're just beautiful, frosty colors, and I love putting them in my inner corner. And 
Um, I'm going to be doing another video right after this because I have a couple dupes from Inglot already. So I've been loving my Inglot palettes and they're just such great, great price points. So thumbs up for Inglot. Love them. As far as my brows, I have actually really been liking my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. Um, normally I use MAC eyeshadow and MAC eyeliner, but this little e.l.f. eyebrow kit has the brow powder, which is the lighter color, and then the brow wax. And I've really been liking it. It's $3. If you don't like it, it's not that big of a loss. And mine is in medium. I believe they have ash, light, medium, and maybe one other color, dark. Um, for skin, for my face, I've been loving my matte mattifying gel. Um, I just got this about a month ago, and I use it every day, and it really helps control my oil. I have a very oily T-zone, and I wear my makeup 10 to 15 hours a day, and I really don't look greasy at the end of the day with this. I rarely use blotting sheets anymore. So I love that. I've also actually fell in love with my MAC foundation, and I am in NW22, and I really love it. And this is the Studio Fix Fluid with SPF 15, and I think this is amazing. Thumbs up for MAC. A lot of people's skin breaks out, and I was really afraid to use it because I've been told it's so heavy, but I like the full coverage, and it's just great. And I've also been loving my MAC Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish. MSF, um, and it's just, it's not too dark, it's not too orange, but it's a really beautiful color. I love the Give Me Sun. I'm wearing it today. Also, I am going a little crazy with my MSF in Medium Plus, which is my skin tone, and this is just the natural MSFs that they sell, and mine is in Medium Plus, and I absolutely love it. It's amazing. It makes my skin have such a nice finish. I can't even begin to tell you. Um, also, I of course have been loving my hand sanitizers from Bath & Body Works. This is Fresh Pick Apples. It smells amazing. It smells like Fresh Picked Apples. For my nails, I have been really loving my Wet n Wild Grey's Anatomy nail polish. And it's what's on my nails even though it's chipping. But it's like a beautiful green, pink, purple, dual chrome. I absolutely love it. For my favorite scent, I've been loving my Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Now. I just love the way it smells. Oh, it's so tropical and sweet and girly and I love those type of scents. And then my favorite accessories have been hoop earrings. And these are just a pair I grabbed and they're just the fake rhinestone crystals. And they have gold, or gold rimming and I believe these are two and a half inches and I got these at Charlotte Russe. But I have like three or four pairs now. And one of my favorite new accessories is my hat. I've really been loving um, different type of accessories and this hat I got at Torrid. I love the bow. I love that it's very summer with the straw type weaving. Um, it's just fun when you're not having the greatest hair day. Just throw on a hat and it makes your look totally different. Very, It's very in right now in my opinion. Um, I think that's it. I've rambled so much. But I'm going to New York next week, and I won't be able to do a video for almost two weeks, so I'll have videos when I come back from just visiting family, but I don't think I'll have a lot of makeup videos, but I will have a shopping review when I come back. So stay beautiful, beauty kills, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.